Right, Grant. Well, you said after the match on Tuesday that you know you're very close to, to being a, a very good team. If you were to sort of say ten was your, your top potential, where would you say you, you currently are right now? Well, we know after after the last ten games, um, we've won four, drew four, lost two. So we know we're short. We know if we had picked up um, maximum points from the Gillingham game and the Scunthorpe game, it would have been twenty points, which is promotion form really. So we're four points down from that from that last ten. Um, so we need to we need to up that in this ten, uh, and that's the remit really for me and, and the players to to up that and, and to try and get to the 20, 21, 22 mark over the, over the next ten games. Um, if we can get more than that, then brilliant. Um, so we, we know we want to make it. We want to make sure we go into the last five games with with everything to play for, um, and be in a position where we are um, not looking over our shoulders, but we're we're looking above us and see who who we can catch. Um, and that's what we are. The, the, the dressing room's calm. I'm calm. We're all looking forward to the to the games coming up, and uh, hopefully we can uh, put a run together. And when you know you've got that talent in the camp, and you just need to eke out that little bit extra, I guess that's where you as manager come in, doesn't it, to try and get that extra, you know, bit of percentage out of the players every every week. Well, what is talent? You know, people keep talking about the talent, the talent here, the talent there. The talent's nothing unless we work hard. So, my my job at the football club is to get everybody working, and we are. The group's working hard. Um, they want to be successful. That's the most important thing. You know, they they come in every day. Um, they're an honest group of boys. Um, they want to work. Um, there's days when you know, I had a conversation with uh, Graham Alexander after the game, um, and he was saying, you know, we're we're in League One for a reason. You know, me, him as managers, um, the players. It's you know, the higher you go up in the leagues, the Championship, the Premier League, the Champions League. They, they produce consistently on a consistent basis, whether it's day in, day out, Saturday to Tuesday, Saturday. Uh, and unfortunately in League One, not many teams do that. Um, not many players do that. So it's the ones who can get the grip of their club, i.e. Shrewsbury are doing it at the minute. They're, they're head and shoulders above everybody in consistency, really, because they're top of the league. Um, and we want to, we're striving to be there. You know, we still are. We, we're, we're all, we all make mistakes, players, me, um, but we, we, we do it because we, we, we try to make uh, as least mistakes as possible so that we can go into a game and give ourselves the best chance to win. Yeah, I remember Richard Money when he was at Cambridge United when they held Man U to a draw and he said on, on that day if everyone at League 2 is playing as well, they're just as good as Premier League players. It's about doing it week in, week out. And I suppose from your point of view over the next 15 games, formations, whatever, it doesn't, none of that matters. It's about making sure that everyone is playing to the top of their level. None of it matters. It's about everyone working hard. It's about everyone producing their best on the day. And ultimately that's, that's what wins you games. You know, that's everybody working hard, everyone producing their best. And it only takes two or three in, in, in any given day, uh, in any given game, for you for to disrupt everything that you've done that they're not producing to their best. So it's important to get everyone on that on that uh, level keel where we're, we're all calm, but we're all going to produce um, as best we can come weekends. And, and that's what we're trying to do. You know, like the change rooms, we've had good chats over the last couple of days. The boys are looking forward to the run in now. We, we are in a good position. Um, you know, I've probably said this for the last three months, we're in a good position, but isn't it funny that we're still saying that? So people need to calm ourselves down a little bit, go with, the, go with what we're doing. Um, we'll be there, um, we'll be up there pushing um, for that top six. I've got a firm belief in this group and myself and my coaching staff uh, and nothing will ever weigh with that. And as a manager, obviously, you know, your second full season here, so certainly second season entering obviously this stage of the season. I look back, 31 games last year, three points off, similar position, and I guess you can look back on the last 12 months and think compared to there and, and, and maybe do things a bit differently. But, you know, you've got that bit of experience from what happened last year, maybe. We weren't good enough last year. That's, that's a fact. We weren't good enough. The squad wasn't good enough. We didn't have the right characters. Um, we, didn't have one, we didn't have people who wanted to go that extra mile. Um, we do now. Um, so regardless of where we are in the league or how many points we're off, um, we know we're still in a good position. We know we are in a position to capitalise on that now. And if, like I say to you, got real belief in this group. Um, they want to do it. That's the thing. They, they want to make sure we get this club into, into the, next, the next level. Um, we got to aim for the stars. If we don't quite reach it, then at least we've, we've given it a good shot. But we've got a good belief in here that we can do it. I think the chairman was speaking on social media last night, talking about the you know the likes of Jack scoring his goals, Marcus scoring. So three players now have got ten plus for the season. But speaking about now, the defence midfield need to need to do their job as well in terms of tightening up. Would you would you go along with that? 
Um, listen, the forward players are doing their job. Of course they are. They're scoring goals. I think Jack's got 24 goals. Danny's got 12. Um, I think Junior's got seven and 15 starts, which is one over one a game. Um, you know, Marcus Madison's got 10, um, and plus his 25, 26 assists. The forward players are producing the goals. Um, you know, different parts of the team have got different tasks to do. Um, the defenders, the defenders, and midfielders, and, and and the attackers. When we're defending, we all defend. When we attack, we all attack. So it's not about, um, for me really, it's not about going well. They're doing their job. They're not doing their job, and blah blah blah. It's not. We're a team, and we and we, we would never speak like that in our dressing room. Um, we all have to bring it together to produce. Um, the chairman has his views, of course he does, and we all respect that, and we love his opinions. Um, and listen, he, he always says it how he feels. So. Everyone accepts that. Everyone understands the way the chairman works. Um, but for us, we need to make sure we, we all deliver. Because when we win, we all win. When we lose, we all lose. It's not about he did his job and he didn't do his. So it's there's no finger pointing, um, no blame game about here. Um, we all need to. And I, when I say all, I mean everybody at the football club need to stick together. Um, get the fans to, to stay with us because um, they're the ones who, I know I said it on a Twitter message the other day, they're the ones who can get us over the line. They're the ones who can definitely push push us to new heights over these next ten games, and that's what we're looking at um, to get a better points return that we did. And we know we're not far away. That's why I said to you, I don't think we're far away. Last minute goal against Gillingham, last minute goal we conceded against Doncaster, things like that that caught us off guard um, and probably would have put us in a, a lot stronger position at the minute. Yeah, and Blackpool this weekend. I mean, a terrible run of form up until Saturday when. They went to Wigan and won. I mean, what a result that was. I mean, listen, it just shows you this league, doesn't it? Wigan's, Wigan's lost their last two games. Um, if you're not on it, then any given day, like you just said about Cambridge and Man United, then you can get turned over. That's, that's, that is the reality of this, of this league. Um, we have been turned over twice in the last 10 games. Um, that's the reality as well in the league. So we know it's not good enough. We know we don't want to lose two games every 10. Um, we want to produce more wins and, and turn those draws that we that we, we got, I'm thinking back to Doncaster, I'm thinking back to Gillingham last minute. Um, yeah, four we, points is big, yeah, isn't it? Yeah, it's big yeah. points. It gives you 20 points, you know, and, and 20 points from 10 games is, is promotion form. So there, there are massive points that we have dropped um, and we need to make sure we do better in these ten, this 10 game to give ourselves a good five game running.